record, Marius Angelin de Ferry won the special vehicle category ahead of Andre and Carre de Ferry and Jeremy Wood and Rob Walk. Production vehicle honours went to Malcolm Cock and Yox LaRue in a Toyota Hilux. The production vehicle category in the National ABSA Off-Road Championship is made up of three classes, Class E, Class D and the Premier SP Class. There is a wide gulf in terms of cost and performance between the entry-level Class E category and the Super Performance category where virtually anything goes. 4x4 Mega World Team Principal Dion Fenter is a veteran of all three classes and Inside Off-Road asked Dion for a layman's guide to the three categories. Basically, a uh, production car with a set of um, good shock absorbers. Okay, all the body panels stripped down and stuff like it, get the weight down and stuff like it, but it's a standard production car. If you want to run with a, a, a standard motor, then you're allowed to run without a restrictor. If you um, got a modified motor, I think you then got to run with a 32, uh, 32 millimeter restrictor. Class D, a little bit more modified. The front suspension is still basically standard. Good shocks in the front. Back is nearly like an SP. Your track of the car is not as wide as an SP, but um, engine modifications, group N motor. It's got to be a stock standard motor in, in the car with a 30 mil restrictor. So you're holding the car back with the thing. It's the nicest class. I've driven all classes. I think that's the nicest class. The only problem is that not that many competitors in it. The, um, then you get to SP, then basically it's open. Uh, you, uh, you know, it's um, uh, uh, the suspension is unlimited, basically. Um, we, they're talking about uh, independent suspension in the back for a year after next. Um, motors, you hear the guys going for big V8s now. Uh, so it's, it's really, it, it is a, it's a big class and it's fast and stuff like that. Um, it's probably the nicest class to ride in, if, if you got, can afford it. Motor racing is an expensive business and the level of performance is determined by the size of your budget. Just as there is a wide difference in performance between the entry level Class E and the SP class, so there's a huge difference between the impact the two categories are going to have on your wallet. Class E is, class e is cheap. It's, you can go buy a second end or a car in a scrap yard and build yourself a car and you probably come right with 300,000 rand. Um, D car cost us a million rand to build the time when we built it. And you people know what it is because if you want to buy a new SP today, three million bucks. Just as there is a wide gulf in terms of performance and cost between the three classes that make up the production vehicle category, each of them make different demands on crews and call for differing approaches to racing. SP the, the best because you can go cut it all day and the cars might them do it. Um, so it's good fun because you, you're wide open all day. D-class, it's nice on the straights and stuff like it, but when it gets really tough and the bouncing around like it, you have to back off because it's standard suspension parts underneath. Class E, you've got to work it in the head all day because if you break it, you're not going to finish the race. If you ride it hard enough, you won't finish the race. Competition in Class E, Class D and the SP Class is cutthroat in the ABSA Off-Road Championship, but for Dion Fenter's money, it is the entry-level Class E that thinking drivers learn to drive with their head and not their foot. There's 12, 13 cars, engine specs are exactly the same, so it's bumper to bumper because everybody's got the same motor. So it's the guy that's thinking up here and that can drive the car the best, not the checkbook that's counting. The next event on the ABSA Off-Road Championship is the Himan Auto 400 in Tabancho in the Free State on October the 19th and 20th. Don't miss the action.